All right, guys, so I'm going to be showing clips from Paris Hilton's documentary. Obviously, she's not going to be wearing hijab. So if that's an issue, you're more than welcome to click away. As for the rest of us, hailed as the model of success for our millennial girls. The teacher of Kim Kardashian. I wouldn't be here today if it hadn't been for number one, her starting off in the reality world and her introducing me to the world. I have 19 product lines, skincare, makeup, every type of product you can imagine. That's right, Paris Hilton. In this video, I'm going to show you how she is making us question our ideals and aspirations, frankly. Paris is famous for well being famous and not to mention one of the most famous women on the planet Kim Kardashian was Paris's stylist and assistant. She's blonde, she's beautiful, she's rich. My fragrances have done almost three billion dollars in sales. I travel over 250 days a year all around the world. Let's face it, she's all the things that the girls nowadays or the women nowadays aspire to be like. Why? Because they believe that once they reach those levels, when they look a certain way, when they have a certain amount of wealth, if people know them, then that feeling, yeah, that feeling that they have of emptiness, it will be filled. Why? Because let's face it, yeah, magazines, yeah, TV, movies, all of them push that same criteria for success. So it is a very interesting case study when we hear Paris say some of the things that she said that's the reason why it hits so hard and it hits home because Paris is somebody that I, I, I don't think I need to sell it to you. Paris really started that movement of having paparazzi follow your every move. If Paris says something or somebody like Paris, like I've done a, a video of uh, Nargis Fakhri, yeah? she was a Bollywood celebrity. I've done one on Lady Gaga, which I will put in the description. Definitely check out. So these are case studies. Whether we like it or not, if we're living, living in these Western nations, our girls consciously or subconsciously look up to this. So when Paris says stuff like this. Travel all around the world and I've seen nothing except hotel room, club, stores. I don't even know who I am sometimes. Putting on this, you know, facade or just like happy, perfect life. Just had this plan and then created this brand and this persona and this character. And I've been stuck with her ever since. I'm scared to go to bed at night. I have horrible insomnia. Boy, it's enough to make a person question, hang on a minute, if everybody's chasing that lifestyle and the people from that lifestyle are saying this. But the thing is, I don't even give a f about any of these things. I've hardly worn any of these shoes. Something is not right here, brother. And you're always saying to me, you need to make your billion dollars. That that's what you're trying to do. Yeah, billion. that's just my goal in life. I was like, when I do that, I'm going to be happy. I think once you do your goal, you just want to keep going more and more. And then what? And then I'll be happy. <laughs> and notice her smiling when she's saying this, because even she knows what she's saying. It's nonsense, frankly. You know what I'm saying? It's like she's saying one thing, but her body is saying, come on, I mean, who are we kidding right here? And not to mention, of course, the suppressed trauma that she's faced in that boarding school. That then manifest, that trauma then manifested in materialism, in rebellion. After being at that school, I just didn't want anyone to know and I didn't want to be embarrassed. I was so obsessed with looking perfect on the outside. That's why I always have to project basically what I think the public wants. The mask I put on and the way I am and like this extravagance and the photos of me like all this is stemmed just from this place. So Paris Hilton's lifestyle yeah, is manifested in our sisters and daughters by the hijab coming off, by the provocative selfies that they feel they have to post to get the likes. Yeah, If they don't get the likes, they don't get that dopamine rush, they don't feel good and not to mention 
plowing on makeup for hours making sure that their eyelashes are right their hair is right you know what i'm saying the blemishes are hidden all for boys that let's face it are emotionally handicapped yeah they, they only think from one organ of their body yeah because they're going through that stage that's who you're trying to impress these boys that only want one thing and then when they break your heart then you're surprised and then you blame all men no you're looking in the wrong place but i think the main question is why why paris is feeling like this because we are duped yeah we are duped into thinking that happiness comes from the external when happiness comes internally it comes from the inside mate that's right so when we compromise our ideals and our beliefs and our morals just so we can reach it and then we realize that the feeling that we expected to come from it is not necessarily coming from it then we become depressed we become annoyed and frustrated because we've reached the pinnacle we've compromised everything We've risked everything and it just has not worked. Why? Because the Creator has not put satisfaction into those things. Allah tells us, You have to, just like in the IKEA catalog, you have to put that screw in first to do the next two steps. You have to realize if you want to be happy, yeah, all these books on being happy, if you want to be happy, it will come in the remembrance of your Lord. Many a times these people have problems and they feel that just because they're going to become a celebrity those problems are going to disappear. Celebrity doesn't make your problems disappear. Yeah, yeah you run from your pro problems, you look back, your problems are following you like a shadow. Try to escape your shadow on a hot summer's day. Same with your problems. You run from your problems, you, you drink or you listen to music or you intoxicate yourself. Okay, but your problem's still going to be there at the end of it. You're delaying the problem. And when I say the solution comes from inside, yeah, let me clarify this because many people don't clarify it. It means mastering your mind and connecting with your soul by fulfilling your purpose. Yeah, what Allah's told us in the Quran. That's right, fulfilling your purpose and understanding the psychology of your behavior. And this can be done by reading books, uh, by watching these videos on YouTube, by even seeing a therapist or a psychologist and you know having some assistance. And of course like Paris says, I mean you become bored yeah we become bored with one phone yeah that we've had for the whole year and even eating the same food for three days we become bored so if you're putting all your aspirations on a certain amount of followers or, or, or celebrity or money or whatnot when you finally get it you become bored and thirdly I wanted to say it's because fame is never ending money is never ending yeah respect is never ending there'll always be somebody there that has more following than you, that commands more respect than you and we live in a global village where it's very difficult to be top of your game. Yeah, so gratitude here is key. Yeah, learning gratitude and this is something that Islam teaches us as well. Every salah we start with Alhamdulillah. Yeah, every single salah that's what we start. Salatul Janazah we start like that. Salatul Eid we start with that. Gratitude Allah is instilling within us. Hope this has benefited you guys as much as it has benefited me I really like these case studies I find them fascinating because rather than just lecturing our daughters and sisters I think presenting them case studies and making some sort of discussion yeah I think inshallah it will be more fruitful so I wish you all the best guys inshallah until next time Assalamualaikum